bacon fat out of the way. Yeah, bacon the bacon fat. fat in question. No. <laughs> All right, welcome. Welcome to the first installment of Chef Steph. After, after Dark. Hours. After Dark. <laughs> I was gonna say After Hours, but After Dark. I think I, I like After Hours. After. Let's do, okay, let's do that again. Okay. After, after hours. hours. Wow. So today, we're going to be making some, some kind of hard cider. So that, hence the After Hours part. Um, so. We've got our big jug here that we're going to do our fermenting in. We've got a bunch of, bunch of regular apple cider, some raisins, some cinnamon, some brown sugar, cloves, and then our, our active ingredient, the yeast, which will ferment it over the next month. So I think the yeast, what does the yeast do? I think it uh, turns the sugar into alcohol. Yeah, probably. Sounds all right. There's a lot of sugar. Somebody can probably Google that. So backstory. Um, I got this for Christmas last year. I got a whole wine making kit, um, wine or beer making kit with a lot of ingredients and this big jug and a bucket and um, whatever you call that the thing. That's the stopper the with the lock. fermenting thing. And now we're going to use it. So that's cool. So we're going to have it ready by next Christmas and be able to try it then. So that That's we right. Can... So first All up, right. we are going to go to the stove, heat up a half gallon of this apple cider, not boil it, just heat it up, and then we'll start mixing some ingredients in there. All right. I'll be back. Let's go. Now we're adding our one pound of light brown sugar here to our, our apple juice, as you can see, is, is warming. So while it's warming, just kind of get that in there. A whole pound. A whole pound. It's splatting a little, guys. Yeah, that's just... Somebody should make the hole a little bigger. Yeah, maybe I should. Okay, so then you're gonna make your hole a bit bigger. Yeah. It's gonna splat a lot more. Immaculate vibes happening right now. There's a lot of Chalk. bubbling happening in the cauldron. In the cauldron. And then we're just gonna stir it up. Should we take it off the heat? Dude. Mm, we can lower the heat, but yeah, yeah. Take it off the heat. Take it off the heat. <laughs> and we're just gonna stir and just stir it until it dissolves. Time lapse. Oh. All right, all right, now that that's stirred, we got our warm apple cider mixed with the brown sugar. We are going to just add some of our ingredients into our fermenting jug. So, would you like to put a cinnamon stick or two I in I think there? so. I'm gonna put two in. Yeah, go, go put two in there. I'm gonna put this big honker in there. Big honker. Ooh, show them, show them the big honker. It's a big honker. Up close. Oh, yeah. Three whole cloves. Mm. One. Two. Three. This is going to add a little spice. A little bit of spice. It's good. Oh, spice up your life. You know what I'm and then 10 to 15 ratings. How many should we do? Hmm. 15. 15. Go big or go home, man. One, two, 15. Okay. Boom. See, if we're, if this was a real cooking show, we would have had that all measured out already. Yeah, but it's not. You know, it's in like those little fancy little glass little containers. Glass <laughs> Put a little of this in. 
Put like, a little of that in. Don't even tell you how much it is. I know. After our little, uh, what are these considered dry ingredients? I don't know. I call them mm, the Did flavor you? infuser. <laughs> infuser. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna add our apple cider. Our okay. warm apple cider and brown sugar. This is gonna Mix. take probably a half hour because it's the world's smallest funnel. But that's all we got. That's what we got. That's what we're gonna use. We should have to pour it from the pot, but that might uh -huh. be. All right, nice. A few drops. That's that's pretty solid though. All right, we're just gonna let this sit 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Just got this got steep, you know. All right. Yep. Makes sense. And then what are we gonna do? And then we're gonna add the rest of the apple cider. Oh shoot! Okay. It's gonna be a full gallon, so it better wow. be good because we got a lot to drink. Speaking of drinking, it is Chef Steph after hours. Got a little something for me. Cheers. Okay, we'll see when this is done steeping. 15 minutes. 15 minutes later. All right. We've done our steeping. We got the cinnamon, the raisins, the cloves. Getting their juices all up in the juice. I feel like it looks darker. It does look a little darker. We also have a thermometer in here, so we can make sure that we have the right temperature because there's some science involved in this chemistry. Yes. Right now it's at 133, 132.7, it keeps dropping. There you go. So we're gonna add almost the rest of this gal half gallon into our jug here. I'll take this out. And we gotta make sure that the temperature is what? And then after that, before we put the yeast in, it should be around 90 degrees. Okay. So we want to make sure we leave like two inches from the top. You'll probably have some left over. You can just drink that. And then like that and then get excited for when this is all done because then you're gonna get drunk off of it look at that it's at 86.3 degrees seems like that's around 90. yeah that's pretty good okay all right so we're gonna take our yeast here i know it's backwards but our yeast open it up and we're only going to use You're only going to use what? Scissors. We're only going to use half a package. It, it, About half? Yeah. Don't give me that look. This doesn't sound very scientific to me. Yeah. But I think it's going to be good. Like it still needs a little more in there. So the more yeast you put in, the more alcohol it's gonna have. Okay, that's about a half. Cool. So you're shaking it basically to get it down in there. Yeah, you just gotta disperse that yeast. You can see it all going around here. Oh yeah, can you guys see it? It looks like the girls mixing a bowl of anything. I gotta say, it looks a little, a little rough right now. Be great. Trust me, the yeast will dissolve. Okay. So, with some water. And then we're gonna have some cider for Christmas. So right now it's the Sunday after Thanksgiving. 
So we thought this would be a perfect time to make this so that it could, you know, do its thing. Fermentation. So that it'd be ready for Christmas. So now we've got the CO2 mm -hmm. the airlock. Airlock. Make sure that's in there. Let's see what's happened here. There's water in this up until here. And then we leave this cap on. Yeah. And then over time. That? Over time, we'll see some bubbles coming out of here, which is just CO2. And then this should start kind of bubbling up on the top like it already is a little bit. Yeah, you do see a little bit. That's it. All right. We will be back in about a month. We're going to give it 28 to 32 days. The longer you wait, the more. Uh, so this is more like a New Year's thing, not a Christmas thing. No, like 28 days from now would be Christmas. Mm, maybe. Kind of close. Anyway, that's the recipe. The longer you wait, the more bitter, it, bitter it'll be. Bitter it'll be. Bitter? Say that five it. times fast. I don't want it to be bitter. What? That's why we're not going to wait that long. 28 days is short. Okay, we're going to have it for Christmas. We're going to have it for Christmas. It's going to be great. We might add a little bit of sugar in there. Make it a bit sweeter once it's all done. Other than that, that's it. One eternity later. All right. It's Christmas. That means this is done brewing. We've kept it in a in a, a cool place. We covered it up with this towel so the light doesn't affect it. Now we're gonna take take the seal off. We're gonna filter it out a little bit. We're gonna try it. See if we want to add any sugar. And so for adding sugar, you want plant based sugar because um, normal sugar will um, still affect any yeast that's left over there. Mm. Um, so fake stuff. Yeah. Well, I guess it's not faced, fake. It's just not sugar. Right, okay. I don't really know what it is. Alternative. Yeah, just like a sweet. So we're gonna put it in our little trying glass, see if we want our sugar, and then we'll go from there. So we have our funnel with our mesh filter. Yeah. Okay. Put a little bit. Look, look, look. If you want to put the funnel on here, you can. All right. I'm going to take the first taste. First little sip. Pretty good. A little bit of cinnamon. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think, think it's you, quite good. I think you could use some sugar though. Yeah, I think so too. Screw it, it's the holiday. I think we're good. All right. Okay. Bottling time. We're gonna bottle it up. <laughs> Can you do that? Is that is that gonna be a bad idea? That'll work. All right. That's it. We're going to try them with the family later. Hope everybody enjoys it. Hope you had a great yeah. Christmas like we did. We're going to have an even better one after we have this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So thank you for watching. Try this out at home. It's really fun. Pretty easy to do. And thank you for watching the first installment of Chef, Chef Seth Steph After Dark. Hour. God! <laughs>